UFOs have been the stuff of conspiracy theorists for decades, often mocked for talking about it, but maybe they shouldn't be mocked. Commander David Fravor spent 18 years as a naval aviator, a pilot. In 2004, he had an unforgettable encounter with an aircraft he said was defying the laws of physics. Former Commander Fravor joins us tonight. Thanks all for coming on tonight. Um, t tell, us, tell us what you saw. Well, we were on a, uh, we had launched on a routine training mission. Uh, when we joined up, we were told that the event was going to be canceled and that we have real world tasking and we were sent out to the west. Now, take in mind that this has taken place about 100 miles southwest of San Diego, between San Diego and Ensenada, Mexico, yep. uh, on a clear, perfect day, blue waters. We get out to the spot where they tell us it's at. Um, we start looking around, and both of us, both airplanes, see a disturbance in the water and a white, 40-foot-long, tic-tac-shaped tic object just hovering above the water going forward, back, left, right. There's no rotor wash, there's no wings, nothing. So as we drive around in a clockwise flow, we get to about the nine o'clock position, and I said, well, I'm gonna go down and check it out, and the other jet is gonna stay high. So as we go down, at, when we get to the 12 o'clock position, it starts to mirror us. So it's in a clockwise flow, and it's on the opposite side of the circle from us. And we continue this. It's in a climb, we're in a descent. We're getting a great look at it. This whole thing takes about, probably up to five minutes from the time we show up. I get over to the 8 o'clock position, it's at about the 2 o'clock position, and I decide I'm going to go and see what it is, and it's about 2,000 feet below me, and I cut across the circle, and as I get within about a half mile of it, it rapidly accelerates to the south in about two seconds and disappears. What, what would you estimate the speed? Oh, well above supersonic. It, it like a bullet out of a gun, it took off. So from what you know about aerodynamics, mechanics, physics, uh, should this be possible, what you saw? Not with the technology that we have today, not, not at all. Even now, even 13 years later, is there anything that you know of capable of this kind of behavior? No, there's nothing I know of. I mean, this, when you look, when we saw the, the video with the IR, it has no exhaust, uh, it, you know, no, no discernible things of anything, form of propulsion. And this thing came from a dead hover over the water, just kind of moving around to a climb up to about 12,000 feet to rapidly accelerating away in a climb. And in less than two seconds, it was gone. And you figure you're talking 50 miles of visibility and you can easily see an object that size easily out to 10 miles and it just disappeared in seconds. Could, I mean, what would be the effects on a human pilot of the G-forces involved in that altitude change? Uh, well, the altitude wouldn't be bad. It would be the acceleration of the object. That's what it, right. Um, the, well, I, honestly, I wanted to fly it. <laughs> yeah, but, I bet. Uh, uh, you know, there's, you know, talking to some physicists, they don't think the human body could handle that kind of force with that yeah, acceleration. Yeah, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound like the human body could. So bottom line, what do you think this was? I believe, as do the other folks that were on the flight, that we, when we visually saw it, that it was something not from this world. When uh, presumably you expressed that belief to your superiors, what did they say? Well, actually, we, we caught a lot of grief getting back to the boat, uh, it, and it got passed off as an event that no one could explain. Now, keep in mind, they had been tracking these for two weeks prior to us seeing it, and this was the first time that manned airplanes had been airborne uh, when the objects appeared. This feels like a really big story to me. I, I'm not, it's not exactly clear why... Vladimir Putin's more interesting than this. I think this seems like a big deal. And Commander, I appreciate your taking the time to talk to us about it. You seem sober and believable, and I appreciate it. Why, thank you very much, Tucker. Thanks.